So how did I basically land a job in IT support in 2024? Um, I also, not to brag, but I get phone calls from jobs all the times, all the times, all the time um, asking if I'm currently working, um, am I um, looking for opportunity, stuff to that nature. But in this video, I'm going to explain to you how I was able to obtain a, um, a IT support role in 2024. Uh, what did I do? Uh, where did I go? Uh, what kind of search did I um, obtain? All that stuff. So, um, real quick, let me let me first. That's a car passing by. So loud. That thing sounds awful. So, uh, real quick, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Ario De Juiced from Juicy Tech YouTube channel. Um, I'll leave my LinkedIn, my um, other social um, accounts in the box below, the description box below. I also I also leave my TikTok. All the, all the things things that you need to contact me outside of YouTube is in the box below. Um, last but not least, final announcement. I want to um, give a special thank you to our good friends and supporters at um, Course Careers, uh, which is an online training program um, that is helping so many people land a job in tech. Um, that's what I took basically to land um, several jobs in IT. Um, all things to a program such as Course Careers. Um, these jobs in IT or in tech are paying between 50000 to six figures plus if interested about Course Careers, uh, not to mention um, the curriculum is so modern, it's up to date. Um, there's so much great things about Course Careers, um, but I'll talk more about them, them in a few seconds. But yeah, for more information about Course Careers, um, I'll leave it down below along with, well, along with other um, information that I share with you. So everything is in the, the description box below this video and let's keep talking. So basically, how did I land a job or several jobs in IT in 2024? Um, first thing that I do want to get off is, well, get off. The first thing I do want to um, share with you is I've had experience in tech before, right? I've had years of experience. So I won't act like I just took a course and that's it. I've had experience, meaning... Um, my prior jobs or job was tech support. Now, tech support, uh, it, it, is a, it is a tech job, but I won't say it's very similar in terms of the task or the job duties that's given to you as a tech support um, person. Um, again, I don't want to say tech support and IT specialist or IT help desk is the same thing. It's not, but a lot of the job responsibilities are pretty much the same sometimes it just depends on where you work the employer what kind of assignment they are assigned or or, or sorry, what, what kind of assignments are being assigned to you it all depends on the employer right but for the most part it is kind of the same job somewhat so i kind of had a leg up because of that reason because i had so much experience in tech support um i won't disclose the name of the employers at all right so if that's what you're looking for it's not going to happen um, but yeah, I've had experience in tech support and that very much did help me and give me a leg up in IT, meaning I've had experience, um, troubleshooting, um, problem solving, assisting people, basically soft skills. I've had those things in my prior job and let's be real. Um, soft skills, you can pick that up pretty much at any job. You can work retail. That's, that's soft skills. You're working with customers. You're assisting people. Um, even working in a fast food restaurant like McDonald's or Burger King, that's also soft skills. You're assisting customers um, you're, or you're assisting the end user. That's what I've been doing for years and years and years, um, working as a tech support um, personnel, assisting others uh, or assisting the, the, the end user, whether it's chat, by phone, um, by email, in person. You're assisting others. That's soft skills. And that that did help me um, stand out in terms of when I'm finding work in IT. Um, they're looking for those soft skills. Have you ever worked with people before? You know, are you comfortable working with people? Are you comfortable working in a team? That whole thing. Um, yeah, so working um, in tech support did give me, give me a leg up in helping me land jobs in tech. Or my first job in IT basically was because they see my resume as a tech supporter, and again at, at that time that that previous IT job, the the responsibilities were kind of close to my tech support job, so it kind of did give me experience. So I I have to put that out there. Um, 
another way that helped me land a job in IT is basically I went to a coding boot camp. I did. Um, the whole purpose of the boot camp was to network, meet people. It wasn't really to become a software engineer. However, I do have I do have experience. I'm not saying I'm an engineer, but I do understand what's going on in terms of you know how to connect an API, how to build one, how to basically how should I put it? Um, how to connect the back end to the front end of you building some, something. So I'm seeing all these things, and I'm actually physically doing the work. I'm writing the code to connect everything. Again, the back end, the API, the front end. We're, we're doing all these things. Also, deploy the actual. Um, 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 software to a AWS. We're doing all these things. It's it's amazing. But again, the whole purpose of me going to that boot camp was to meet and network my butt off. Because believe it or not, I still talk to a lot of the prof the professors at that boot camp, and they do vouch for me when I need reference, professional reference. They have LinkedIn accounts. They're very visible in terms of being on LinkedIn. Um, so when I do use their names as a reference for an employer to call to vouch for me, that's something that helps me a lot. So I would say networking is going to be by far the top three things you need to conquer. Meet as many people as possible. If, if it means meeting them via the internet, offline, online, go to seminars, conferences in your local town, meet as many people as you can and network, network your butt off. It's a big deal. It helped me so, it's still helping me. You know, it's still helping me when I need to find um, a new job. If I'm looking for a new employment, I have reference, professional, re, you know, I have a bunch of people that can vouch for me. Um, and that's just incredible. Now, again, that was the whole point of me going to that boot camp is to meet a lot of professionals. So, um, so that did help me land several jobs in IT. And I'm going to say, last but not least, the final thing that did help me a lot as well is going to course careers. Now, again, it's not the main reason to help me get land, that helped me land jobs in tech. But what's so important about course careers is their curriculum is so modern and up to date. Not to mention, I love how they're so big on helping you build your resume to help you stand out your cover letter. They even have... Um, they, they help you build your LinkedIn to really make it look good and help you stand out. Put in all the uh, important information in there to help employers or HR people read your information and really get a feel that you may be a good candidate. You just need to know how to build it. Uh, and there's a science to it. And course careers, um, they do have that science in helping you shine your resume and make it really stand out to help you land those jobs in tech or, or in IIT. Um, again, not to mention the labs they have available of so of, of just getting you that experience, that hands-on ex experience. You know, using Azure, learning how to build VMs, virtual machines. They're very um, big on helping you know the basics of IT in terms of knowing what an IP address is, subnetting what's a VPN if you're new to that, um, what's a firewall. They explain everything. And the, to me, this is information you need to know because those questions in those, in, in those um, tech interviews are going to be asked to you. It just all depends on what that job is looking for. But they may ask you, how do you troubleshoot a slow computer? Uh, what is a firewall? And explain to them what is a firewall, a, a firewall, excuse me, how to um, troubleshoot a monitor that is malfunctioning. Um for whatever reason, the screen doesn't work and they need you to fix it. Explain how to troubleshoot a printer that's not printing. Explain how to add a printer to the network or to someone's computer. These are the questions you're going to be asked. And this is what Course Careers pre prepares a lot of their students for. Those basic questions in IT support. I encourage it. Go for it. Again, to me, that is a great starting point to help you land a job in tech. Learning from actual specialists and leaders in the field. The top thing I love about course careers is the teachers, the professors are actually working in the field that you're trying to, you know, um, join. Um, they're actually, they've worked as a cybersecurity analyst, IT support. Some were working as a software engineer. 
they're they're giving you advice tips because they're still working in that field right now so it makes all the sense to me it beats college um for me it does because it's so affordable not to mention it's remote you can work from your home at your own pace to finish the course it's amazing um yeah so that those are the three things that help you land a job in it um i just do want to share that i did have experience like i said before in the tech space so that does give me give me a, a leg up but what could give you a leg up as well is just get a job somewhere if you're working somewhere right now retail customer service um, a, a restaurant this is soft these are soft skills that you could put in your resume to help you also stand out because you know how to work with people you know how to troubleshoot solve problems that's a great 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 amazing skill believe it or not hope this makes sense to you much love it's always a pleasure i'll be dropping more of these videos to kind of just assist any way i can to help you um, know what to do next where to go to help you land that job in tech or in it so um yeah thanks for watching this video i'll be back with more information uh, be sure to comment like and share comment like and share hit the bell notification subscribe to the channel if you really enjoy the content again all my socials are in the box below my linkedin my ig my tiktok account everything is down there along with course careers if you need more if you need more information about that thanks for watching like i said before peace out catch you on the next one